get there, you know. And you know, now you have one in your own backyard, with 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 facility that looks like you, understand your culture, understand what you're going through, and resources all around. And, and, and don't assume because they're taking your money out of your paycheck that you're in compliance and you automatic get your visitation. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. And don't think because you file one time it's immediately fixed. Not going to happen. <laughs> Not going to happen. You know, uh, the only time it happened, the child get old, grown, and he ain't got no more papers. <laughs> and if you got a real, still ain't going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, I paid for my oldest child for 22 years. So. That's pretty much I have, and then I can talk on and on and on, but everybody oh. gives me signals and gangs I have or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Ma, can, can I ask you, can I ask you to just touch on one other thing, too, that, uh, that, I, that I'd like for you to, to talk about? Talk about exactly what is kid, kidnapping. <laughs> wow. There's a couple, a couple of heads on that. I, I had a case come into my office, and a guy um, picked up his daughter uh, from school when you're really supposed to pick the child up from home. And the mom was tired or something. She was exceptionally mad. And she actually called in and said, my child has been kidnapped. What do you think happened to that guy? Why? It's his kid. He birthed the child. That's <laughs> right. not where he's supposed to pick him up from. And so if you think about it, I, I, I like how she asked the question because a lot of times you hear that when they're upset. Remember, we just said it's emotion. So now I'm mad at you, so I'm going to file a kidnap against you because I don't want my child around that woman. Mm -hmm. you know, so yep. be mindful. If you want to put a, a kidnapping in a place, is, is, I'm going to say it the way I told the guy. You broke the rule of the court order. You broke that. You did that. You allowed your emotion to get caught up. You went to the wrong place, the wrong time, wrong thing. Mm -hmm. Now, even though, you know, they did not completely convict him, for the weekend in jail and money out your pocket, that's about conviction enough. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. okay, you know, like, if my name is on the list at school to visit my kids, if I want to go to these schools and stuff like that, and if, if me and my wife got to the point to where she don't want me to see them and I just go up to the school and get them, even though I'm on a, you know what I'm saying, the list, I mean, could I get in trouble for that? No. Believe me, I did that. <laughs> I went to, like, my, no, no, for real, man. Hey, look, here at some of my, I'm this experience talking, man. Slow down. <laughs> now, what happened, man, put it like this. When I went up in there and I talked to them, the first thing they want to know, have you ever abused the mama or abused the kid? If you're on a birth certificate, they say as long as you don't take that kid out of school, they don't care. The mom don't have anything to do with that. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Because they told me we like dads coming to the school anyway. Yeah. So, like, legal-wise, like, they didn't do nothing to me because I went to every school in Plano to find out where my daughter was. By the time I made it to the third school, her mama had already called me because they already called her because they'd been calling around trying to figure out who I was. So by the time I made it to her school, there's nothing that her mom can do because... They, they let you come. As long as you haven't assaulted the kid or did anything to the mother, there shouldn't be anything on you for you not to see your kid. One, one thing I want to add to this, and I'm going to give it to you. One thing I want to add to this is when you look at, and a good example for yours, I always remember each case when it comes to a family case. Well, this coming from, you know what I'm saying? And so so I guess she had got mad like when one of the boys dropped they, uh, left some home, so she had brought it over there like the next day. And so my little baby boy, you know how kids are when they seen her, he like started crying, the tears coming down his eye. And I was like, boy, get your butt back over there. Ain't nothing wrong with you. You've been all right. You've been playing A-OK -OK until you just seen her, you know. And so she like, oh, don't be, you know. And I'm like, man, don't come over here trying to run this. You know what I'm saying? You over there. So now you're trying to come over here and run this over here, and it ain't going to happen. And then she like, you know what I'm saying, I can't see my kids, this and all that. Yeah, emotions is, 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 is one of the biggest challenges uh, that we have. And